of prematurity. We all have different stories about our birth plan and some end up the way that you think it's going to go and others um, you might be led down a different path. That's what happened with our family 10 years ago um, in 2011 after three years of trying to get pregnant and infertility treatments our family was overjoyed with the news that we were expecting identical twin boys. Unfortunately, just 18 weeks into the pregnancy, the boys and I were diagnosed with twin to twin transfusion syndrome, a rare disease that affects 10% of all identical twin pregnancies. In spite of multiple risky procedures, weeks of strict bed rest, and trying to prolong the pregnancy to save both boys' lives, Luke and Logan were delivered via emergency C-section at just 28 weeks gestation. Luke was born at two pounds, 12 ounces, and was quickly rushed to the NICU. Logan was born at just 10 ounces, and after breathing on his own for two hours, he died peacefully in my arms. It was 66 days before we were able to bring Luke home from the hospital. I spent each of those 66 days in the NICU with Luke, connecting with him, monitoring his care, while simultaneously grieving Logan. Since then, we've had encountered challenges with Luke's health. His prematurity means that in the early years, we had to be particular, particularly cautious during cold and flu season. I've had many hospital visits. Love you, Luke. I've had many hospital visits due to his breathing difficulties and chronic croup. However, overall, Luke has miraculously escaped the many sides of twin-to-twin -twin transfusion syndrome and, pure, and prematurity. Today, he's a healthy and happy 10-year-old boy. Our experience has inspired me to be more involved with the March of Dimes. To do this work to honor Luke and Logan, the families who have walked a path that is similar to our own and to the medical professionals who have helped our family along in this journey. It is our hope that one day all babies will be born full term and healthy. Kristen and Alden touched on community and I think more than now more than ever we need our community and Sadea has been just incredible in that sense. I've seen the residents of this community show up for people who have lost their house to fires. Um, we've gathered together around a cancer diagnosis. We have gathered together tonight and I hope that we continue to do so. From the bottom of our hearts, thank you for being here tonight. Enjoy the show.